Hey, quick reminder to follow me on Twitch. Trying to buy a brand new PC monitor is never easy. We have specific specs that we're always looking for, but all of those specs combined with some of the most popular brands out there usually falls outside of our budget. This is where we usually find those other monitors that have exactly the specs that we want and also within our budget, but we're scared to purchase because we don't know if it's worth it. Those are all the things that went through my mind when Pixio contacted me and wanted me to review their prime productivity and gaming monitor. So the first thing I have to say is that I really like the packaging. It is robust and secure and I kind of like the big red box. Inside we will find the monitor itself, a stand stem as they call it, a stand base, one HDMI cable, one USB type C cable and then the power adapter. In my case, they accidentally sent an American adapter, but I was fine because I had an international converter adapter thing. The installation is one of the simplest ones I've ever seen, but all you have to do is attach the stand stem to the stand base and then tighten up a little screw that is underneath the stand base, then attach it to the monitor while it's facing down. And that's it. It takes 45 seconds. Now at the back of the monitor on the left side, we will see all the input outputs. There is a headset slash monitor output, although there also is integrated speakers, which sound decent. Then the three ports, as you could guess based on the cables are USB-C, HDMI, and also one display port. Then the right side is just for the power. Bottom left, there's this little white thing, which is actually the, may I call it a joystick button. It allows you to power it on by holding it for a couple seconds, and then you can pull it left, right, up, down in order to navigate through the menu. Now here's a couple of things that surprised me. First of all, I had nothing to peel. I was excited. I'm always excited when I get new tech. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do peeling, right? And there was no nothing to peel. I don't know if it's a way to reduce plastic, even though we had plastic bags for the cables and also for the screen itself. Or maybe they just sent me a return or a reconditioned one. Second thing is that there is no user manual in the box. You actually have to go to their website and download the user manual. Then from the website, you get to select your product and then download the manual. So this is a 1440p 27 inch monitor. The refresh rate is 100 hertz, so it's not the 144 that uh, most gamers will be looking for, but it's also not the 60 hertz for the lower end monitors. This stand actually gives you way more freedom than any other screen I've ever seen, allowing you to adjust the height, the pan, the tilt, and also the rotation. It's an IPS screen, meaning that the colors will stay the same no matter what angle you're viewing it from. The USB-C connection actually allows both power and data. When it comes to the color, it claims to be 90% a DCI-P3, which is another way of saying compatible with some HDR content. It is also compatible with uh, AMD's FreeSync, so it will prevent like screen tearing and, and stuttering and stuff. Now here's the monitor. I brought it because I wanted to show you some of the options when you pull that little joystick left, right, up or down. So the first thing that really, really shocked me is when you pull it to the right, you have a crosshair. <laughs> You have a, a reticle, if you will, little dot, you can switch it. So if you're playing a game and you have a lack of visibility, no more, no more. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing this on a monitor, like integrated, all right? It goes from, from uh, red to yellow. Then I'm gonna press on it, on that button, and I'm gonna pull down. So when I pull down, I have options like uh, brightness that you can switch left, right, brightness, 90, press again, it disappears. I'm gonna pull up and now I actually have uh, the auto select on the sources. So there's type C, a display port and HDMI and I'm gonna pull left. And this is where I have multiple presets. I could show you the presets. I would have to just put like a picture or a video playing on it. Let me do that right now. All right, so here I have a random macro video playing. So when I pull left, we have the presets and then here I can switch. This is game, it's a little more uh, a little less bright and a little more contrasty. This is movie, very bright, very dynamic. Look at that. Of course, it doesn't do it justice because there's my camera, there's the there's the white balance and everything. This is echo, so this is like, you know, very dim. Then there's FPS, which is also like pretty bright actually. There's RTS and standard. 
and you just hold for a couple seconds if you want to turn it off. This was the quick access. If you just press once, you're actually gonna have a menu at the bottom right. I don't know how well you can see this, but basically you have display, image, color, OSD setup, a system setup, and then miscellaneous. And this is where basically you can control from display. For example, you have brightness, contrast, preset, DCR, and HDR. So this is where you would go if you wanted to turn on uh, HDR, for example. And in my case, I am not playing HDR content, so it's just oversaturating and over contrasting my image. On image, we can control the aspect ratio. In color, there's color temperature, there's low blue light, there's a black equalizer. And then OSD setup is language, uh, height position, well, horizontal position, vertical position, OSD timeout, transparency, uh, rotate. System setup is basically flicker free. You can turn that on or off. Then miscellaneous is input. You can auto select the input, which is, you know, you plug it in, it recognizes it. And then uh, you can mute, you can play with the volume, the free sync, you can turn it on and off. So if you have a, um, an AMD graphics card and you want to activate free sync, this is where you go, oops. And then there's overdrive, which, I'm not too sure what that means actually. <laughs> now my overall impression is that this monitor, like the color is pretty impressive. The IPS of course is pretty much standard if you're a gamer, but I love that they advertise it as a productivity and gaming monitor, not just a gaming monitor. Cause you know, 100 Hertz is not hundred percent gaming monitor. I think the size is pretty impressive and you don't, you're not even seeing all of it. Let me try to pull it. I think the size, it's pretty good if you're making like your um, productivity setup. If you have a desk, a pretty large desk, this is really, really nice. I am actually surprised at the freedom that this things give you. Like, look at that. I can just, I just hit my other, mo my other monitor. This is not the ideal setup, but the fact that if I want to rotate, all I have to do is I'm holding the base with the other hand, boom and then I can rotate. Of course, the cable is preventing me to do it. <laughs> Boom, like that. If I want to tilt, I can do this. And if I want to pull it down, I can just go. <laughs> and it goes so low, look at that. <laughs> that is super nice. And then it's just as easy to pull it back up. Boom, there you go, it's back up and it's kind of locked in position now. I will probably not use it, ew. <laughs> I will probably not use it as my main monitor because you know I play games, I like my 144, uh, but I will definitely replace my second screen that I have on the side and have basically um, everything that I use for productivity because I do believe this is a great productivity monitor. I actually wish I had more space on my desk so I could use it as one of my main monitors, but I don't right now, so it's probably gonna go vertical. I just love rotating it for no reason like that. And since the back, and I totally forgot to say that, is compatible with most uh, like monitor arms and stuff. I believe it's sorry, it's called the VESA, the VESA norm. I will be able to easily place it on my uh, monitor arms that I already have. Salted nuts. So the current price on their website is $319, which I really wish I saw this monitor before I bought my main monitor right now. And I think with all of those features, it is actually definitely worth it. I'm super happy that I get to test one of those monitors because it's it's always like scary to go with something that has all the specs you want, but at a lower price. This one definitely keeps its promise. Only downside is um, the 100 Hertz, I guess, If but if you're in the market for 100 Hertz or if you're buying it purely for productivity, this is great. Or for a second screen that you're not gonna use as your main gaming screen. I do believe that hole over there is basically helping you with cable management. You would have to go down here, boom, and it goes behind your desk. So that helps without having necessarily channels. So the downside would be like, there's no channels to actually hide your cables, but there is a little hole there that might help you manage them. What else? There's no mention. I, I don't know if it's me being ignorant. There's no mention of um, V-Sync, which I believe is NVIDIA, but there is mention of FreeSync. I don't know if if it has free sync and it's automatically compatible with VSync, I would have to look into that. In the comment section below, you can tell me. And of course, the biggest downside is that I had nothing to peel. <laughs> if you want to buy one, there will be a link in the description, or if you just want to look more in depth into it, I'm going to put a link to their website. You will be able to check it out. For me, I, I am pretty satisfied with it and I'm definitely going to be using it, especially since my second monitor is like a VGA $10 monitor. This is going to be great. I just need more space. Anyways, here's a reminder that I actually have a tech channel that you can go and subscribe to if you want to see more tech review, not necessarily tech that has to do with gaming or live streaming, but 
but any type of tech i made a separate youtube channel and most of my i'm trying to move all of my tech reviews over there so go subscribe it's called agel's tech review and a huge thank you to pixio for sending me this monitor the whole process was really cool they were super nice and i think this is a pretty good product so thank you for watching i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out